ever have a moment when you're like watching a show or a movie where you're just like, oh, this is great, I love it, and then you go tell your friends about it, they hated it, and they thought it was terrible. And then you go out and find out, yeah, most people actually don't like this movie, you're, you're the oddball out here. Well, that's what this video is all about. This is my list of five animated movies that most people don't like that I absolutely love. Because we've all had moments like this, right? First one up on my list is... Sinbad, The Legend of the Seven Seas. Now, in this spot, I contemplated maybe putting Treasure Planet or Road to El Dorado, but these are movies, I think, yeah, when they came out, they were bombs, but over time have grown a really strong cult following, and I see people talk about how great Treasure Planet and Road to El Dorado are all the time. But I don't see anybody giving love to Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. And I get why. I used to be in the camp of not liking this movie. For some reason, when I went back and watched it not too long ago, I fell in love with this movie. But by all means, I shouldn't like this movie. It does so many things that I don't like in movies. They don't really have a strong story, it's just a bunch of episodic adventures that are loosely tied together, but for some reason, it kind of works for me here, I don't know why. Another thing is you got a con man as your leading character, which sometimes can be done well, but most of the time I'm not a big fan of it, but here, that gummin' it worked. Sinbad was just a scoundrel that I weirdly loved. Even yeah, a lot of the CG didn't really age well, but I kinda don't care. I was having a lot of fun, it was just a fun adventure, but for some reason, I liked these characters and I cared about them, even though they didn't really give me a lot of reason to. So I get why this hasn't quite had the renaissance of love that Treasure Planet and Road to El Dorado and even Nipper's New Groove have gotten over the years. But man, can, can, I, can we start that group? I, I actually really like this movie. Next up, we have We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. Now much like Sinbad, I understand why a lot of people didn't like this one. First of all, I don't think a lot of kids even in my day, even saw it. I remember asking kids about this movie and most of them had never even heard of it. As I've gotten older, I've seen a lot of the cracks in this movie going, oh yeah, there is some weird stuff in this. And yeah, it's not the best told story. But I don't know if this is nostalgia talking because I did grow up with this movie. It was one of the only good movies my grandparents had at their house. And it could just be my really biased connection to dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. And yes, I was one of those kids wishing to see a dinosaur in real life. Heck, I'm 32 years old and I still want to see a real life dinosaur from the past. This movie is not the best. I'm not going to argue that it's objectively a spectacular movie, but I think it's fun. I think it's got some heart. And I don't think it's as terrible as everyone thinks that it is. So I got to give some props here. We're back at Dinosaur Story. It's fun. Next up, we have the Ice Age movies. I think the way that most people think about Ice Age is the way that I think about Despicable Me. For Ice Age, they say, I don't really care about the main characters, but the squirrel's kind of funny. That's what I'd say about Despicable Me. Don't really care about the main characters, but the minions are kind of funny. So yeah, I know that I'm definitely in the minority of people who legitimately enjoy every single Ice Age movie. And yes, when I say every single Ice Age movie, I mean every single one of them. I'm gonna take a stand here for the Ice Age sequels and say, I don't think they're all that bad. And the thing I love most about this series is its heart. I think that with every film, we get to see new relationships form and how they interact with the old relationships, I always think is a whole lot of fun. And yeah, are there other movie series that have done heart like this, but a million times better? Sure. But, I don't know, there's some kind of charm that Ice Age has to it that I just can't ignore. That it always leaves me coming back to Ice Age for more. No matter how many people say that it has a heart that's frozen, for me, I don't think so at all. And yeah, I think it's also a bit of bias here in the fact that I just really am fascinated by prehistoric mammals. I love animation, so you put the two together, I'm probably gonna love it a lot. Now next up on the list we have Happy Feet 2! I know! I'm as shocked as you are! This is the Happy Feet I wanted from the get-go! <laughs> I didn't watch Happy Feet 2 till years after it came out because I didn't like the first one so much, I assumed I was gonna hate this one. But then I found a copy 
And I fell in love with this movie. I loved the characters, I loved the world, I loved just all the song and dance in it. It was kind of what I expected from Happy Feet 1. I loved the way the elephant seals came and worked with the penguins, and I loved the idea of penguins like worshiping this puffin because they think that this puffin is a penguin and this penguin can fly. I think that's awesome! That's a great idea! And I love the story between Mumble and Eric. And yes, Eric belted out a little bit of opera, and as someone who was trained in opera, I <laughs> fully appreciated that. I don't understand why everyone hated this movie. I loved it. I thought it was great. I still don't know why y'all liked the first one. <laughs> but I think this is the only time where I really didn't like a first movie, but then adored the sequel. So this just goes to show, even if you hate the first movie, give the sequel a chance. It might surprise you. Now this last movie, not only did I love but I weirdly loved to the point where I was shocked that nobody else loved this movie. And I think I know why so many people didn't like this movie, and I think it's because they didn't watch this movie, but they just saw the trailers, thought it looked stupid, and didn't give it another chance. I was one of those people. Let me tell you, The Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul. Let me talk about this for just a second. Much like so many people, when these trailers came out, I thought it looked stupid. Who wants to watch this war movie about owls? This is such dumb. And of course, when they said, made from the people who brought you happy feed, I really didn't want to see this movie. But I had a buddy of mine around the time this came out that was just, he really wanted to see this for some reason. But I went with him going, I don't know. Let's give this a shot. And y'all, I was blown away. Which is interesting because when he walked away, he hated the movie and I walked away loving the movie. Now, the older I've gotten, the more I see, yeah, it does have some story flaws and yeah, it's not the best well told, but I think when it gets it right, it fires on all cylinders. It's wonderful. I especially loved Jeffrey Rush's Easel Rib. He was by far my favorite character in the movie. And I think the whole reason they made that movie in the first place was for his character. Just, mm, I've never read these books, but by golly, if, if the book is like the movie, I'm here for it. I loved it. To me, I will go back to this all the time because it had some great messages. It had some great moments of facing your fear, facing adversity, realizing what true sacrifice is. And I am sad that this movie ended with a possible hinting at a sequel that we will just never ever get because the movie just bombed. <sighs> oh well, I guess that just means I have to go read the book to find out how the rest of the story turns out. I was blown away. I was taken off on this adventure by a bunch of owls that I thought I was gonna hate, but ended up walking away from it going, wow. This was a great adventure. Can I go on it again? Can I go with you guys? Come on, let's go. Let's go fly off to the next adventure. But y'all, these, these lists were actually really fun to make because it got to get me to think a little bit more about some of the movies that I consume and also to be a little nicer on the films that I can kind of go hard on because I think that's really important for that when we disagree, we hear the other side and see if we stand true to what we thought before or if maybe we weren't considering things from another perspective. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!